Hey guys, welcome back to go back to another video and today we're here with the i8 and we're taking it down to BMW because we have one little issue. Alright guys, so before we actually get into the issue of the i8, um, let's show you guys a sponsor of today's video. So shout out to Newware. I actually love Newware. All my fridges, all my heaters, everything. I actually have a heater that we use in the shop right here. I package it up because we'll be taking it to our new place pretty soon. You guys know that we left the shop. This fridge right here is also from Newware. Absolutely love it. Um, I just moved this one over here as well. We have a stacked up with water, a whole bunch of things. We're working in the garage. This is an outdoor fridge, so it just works out perfectly. And this one right here is gonna be my baby. It's gonna be the one that I'm gonna be spending the most time with. And uh, the reason it's bad is that this one's going inside my room, so I'm doing all my editing when I'm just working, playing games, or whatever it may be. You guys know I live in a two-story home. God bless, but going downstairs for a cup of water sometimes, it's kind of a pain, right? The out like, isn't it? <laughs> You you get me you have me get you water all the time. Yeah, I have I'll text my brother like yo can you give me a water? Like I'm really not in the mood. But if we have this beautiful mini fridge in my room, I'd be sick. So let's go ahead and just unbox this bad boy. This is again for newer. Their quality is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm just super, super, super excited to finally install this little puppy. It's probably better. I'm more excited to install this into my room and having the convenience and luxury of you know fresh cold beverages than another mod on my car. <laughs> I guess that just opens like that. Go ahead and take off this guy. Talk about quality. Mm. They packed it with like the best, like they didn't even throw just random packing peanuts. This is what they had. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Damn, look at this unboxing. The nice unboxing experience. And the best thing of all, the whole year, it only uses $27 worth of electricity. That's what I'm talking about. New air, we got the, this is primarily for beer and stuff. So yeah, it gets pretty cold. But uh, you know, your boy doesn't drink beer. So I've been putting water in here, and <laughs> just a whole bunch of like vitamin water, a whole bunch of other little drinks that keeps me um, hydrated and uh, ready for life. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna need my brother to help me get this thing out. All right, we got it, boys. I'm real OCD. Like, I don't want to get into the good stuff just yet until we actually get fully cleaned up. So let me clean up real quick. I'll see you guys in about two minutes. All right, guys. So first opening of the mini fridge. Uh, talk about ceiling. Okay. Oh, that's really wow. Okay. All right. Well, guys, this is the inside. Again, talk about quality. This is glass, not plastic. They have the packaging's on point. Love it. Taking off all this little goody stuff. Actually, I probably should have done this when we already took it upstairs. But uh, we're actually taking this upstairs, guys. We're not actually keeping this outside. We already have an amazing new air fridge over there for you know the garage. We need one in my room. So that being said, let's get this thing up. I'm very happy, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 boy. All right, guys, so we're here with our brand new beer fridge. You know, your boy drinks a lot of beer. Psych, no beer. Check out my stash, guys. Bada bing, bada bang. Check that out, boys. This is sick. So, finally, I'm going to be able to keep myself uh, hydrated no matter what the occasion is, whether that's playing video games, editing. I'm on the ground. You guys can see I'm in my natural habitat. I'm just chilling, and I'm super excited. There is this extra shelf that goes in right here, but we're not gonna be using it. I'm gonna store this properly. It's glass, real glass, high quality stuff, guys. Without further ado, uh, let's come back into the video with the actual problem that's going on with the i8. So the issue I'm having with this car is this little wiring thing right here. So as you guys can see, it looks like something is ripped. Cause you guys can see the tube right here, here should be connected. And every time I close the door, I pretty much hear these wires rubbing against this, which I mean, I don't really know if it's gonna cause too much damage or anything, but it just, kind of makes the door sound janky when you close it. If I go ahead and close it real quick, hear this. I don't know if you guys heard that, but if we go ahead and open up this door, sounds perfectly good, and that's how it's supposed to look. So I don't know why the other side doesn't look like that. Maybe it's just wear and tear over time, um, or something, I, I think it could be just wear and tear. So I hit up BMW Irvine Video, which is where I got the car from, and they said this is pretty much should be covered under the warranty. So I went down to Nilo BMW, I told them about the car, and they said this is not covered under the CPO. This is considered something that'd be covered under like some other kind of warranty, which I don't have that expired a month ago. But I told him I just got the car. So he was like, it, uh, we, we could probably just do it under us. And uh, you know, we, we, we'll, we'll figure it out for you. And I was like, I hope so, because you know, I just bought the car from a BMW dealership, so I hope you guys got me. They said they got me. So let's go ahead and head down there, hope to God they can take the car off my hands and get it fixed on them, because I'm not really trying to spend any money to get that fixed. The part is $15, but online it says the labor is nearly 30 hours. So I don't even wanna know what you need to do to replace that part. It's only a $15 part. Without further ado, guys, we have my brother right here. He's about to take the 435 by 
to have a little drive with both cars and we're gonna drop off the i8 at the bmw dealership let's see how it goes this never gets sold oh my god i love this car getting on in damn all right let's get it let's get it so my brother's finally taking my car he's gonna have to air up Yep, there you go guys, <laughs> that is so sick. He will need to air up just a little bit more though because he will rub in the rear. These are 20 inch rims, so I'll go ahead and teach him how to air up real quick. I'm also gonna see if BMW can fully charge the car for me. That would be great because I haven't had the car fully charged and I do wanna see the fuel consumption with the fully charged battery. Oh damn. Already kicked in the motor, I guess. The battery's completely dead, guys. Guys, the 435 looks so good. I love seeing that car from a second person's perspective. I'm always the one driving that car. That car looks so good from another mirror. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, I love that car. It looks so good. There's always something about having a nice exotic, but there's always something about having a built car. That car just looks so freaking insane. But guys, just look at the ride height on that thing. Like, oh my god, it is tucking almost. How is she, bro? I haven't driven in a bit. Oh, this pops? <laughs> very controversial car i actually love the i8 it's one of those cars for me that i've always thought was like more of like a dream it, it's out of this world when you see it in person guys and you just drive the car and you just like just the experience of the car with the electronics and everything it just makes the car seem like it's from a car in the future my brother's having way too much fun in the 435 right now Video, your boy actually lost the footage. I don't know what happened. The footage got lost. We actually showed up in BMW and dropped off the keys. Basically, dropped it off at BMW, dropped off the keys, and uh, they told me it's gonna take a, a couple days. I thought possibly they finish it sooner because they just say a couple days and they actually call me it sooner. Normally, how BMW works. Oh my god, this fly! I'm gonna kill the fly. Anywho, few days pass. This is nowhere in the present again. All right, guys, welcome back. This is actually day two, um, actually day three or four. I don't know exactly what day it is, but it's the next day of this video. And we're gonna go pick up the i8. It's fully charged up. They did fix that little thing on the garment. Um, it's completely for free, covered under the warranty. So shout out to Nilo BMW for getting that fixed. So shout out to Urban for BMW for telling me that that's a possibility to get fixed for free. So again, shout out to BMW for this. Yusuf's is gonna go ahead and take me down to BMW. We're gonna pick up the car. And then we're gonna be meeting right back here to meet up with Jonathan in a little bit. So uh, chilling in the bend. Are you to be a Civic not too long ago, which is kind of crazy. Never mind, guys. So we're about to head out, but then Jonathan <laughs> showed up, tired as it can be. So uh, we're going with Jonathan. All right, guys. So never mind. Jonathan's out of gas. So we're going back to Yusuf's car. <laughs> there you go. Your chariot awaits. I caught shotgun, so I mean, yeah, oh, buddy. Wow, that's nice. I know. It's some fancy <laughs> shit right there. You're special and you're reckless. Remember, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you're doing alright alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you Guys, pulling up in the Benz at BMW. So we're about to go ask for my keys. I actually think my i right there getting charged up next to the frozen black edition. So go get the keys and then hop in the i8. Got the keys to the i8 and we got the frozen black chill next to the white. I think it's some kind of crystal white frozen black. Obviously, I wanted to go with the frozen black at first, but then I was like, I don't know. I really, really dig the white. It's just iconic for the i8. Plus, this doesn't even have the laser headlights while this one does. This one is a 2017 though, but not much differences. That one is actually reserved. That's crazy. Okay, all right, all right. Guys, finally got the keys. Dang, you can even see the headlights during the day. We are good to go. Yeah, let's unplug the charger. Let's see how that works. I've never, well, it's green, so I'm assuming it's fully charged now, right? Yeah, I guess. Cool, cool. I wanna see the fuel economy you guys get with a fully charged battery. I asked them to charge it just so we can see the fuel economy that we can get from this car. Oh, I miss it. I miss it so much. All right, boys, let's get in. Ugh. Guys, look at that. They fixed it. There's no more screeching sounds. 
Hell yeah, that's awesome. Guys, it actually makes such a big difference in terms of closing it and opening it. You feel the difference, which is awesome. The battery is fully charged. It says I only have 10 mile range though. That is something to kind of, I might need to do some research on that. Only 10 miles, that's not much. Weird. On a fully charged battery. I'm gonna have to look into that. If the battery sounds wrong, then I'm gonna have to look it up. Maybe we can even get that replaced under the warranty, but 10 miles, I don't know if that's normal. Anywho, but it does say it's fully charged, so let's take it out for a spin, and uh, I think we need something to eat. We're starving. Yes, yeah, starving. we're definitely starving. But I'm super thankful. Shout out again to Neil BMW for fixing that little door seal thing. So it was cracked. In terms of man hours, it takes 30 hours to replace according to online, and it's a $15 part. So I really didn't want to get through that. $15 is not that expensive, but 30 hours and taking apart my new car, you know, I don't really want to do that. So we are good to go. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and talk to Yusuf over here and figure out what we're trying to eat. Just pulled up to The Habit. The Habit Burger is this really good place here in California. I'm not really sure if it's in other places of the United States, but uh, love, look at that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Anywho, so we are officially here. We got to find a decent parking space and uh, maybe right there's a good one. We'll see. But there's hella people out here. That's crazy. So we're here at The Habit Burger. <laughs> Get <on> close. <laughs> oh my God, guys. I love having cameras. First car I've ever had that she has cameras too, believe it or not. So that's crazy. Jonathan got that good fries though. <laughs> Let's get that dip going. I got the regular fries. You know, I, I honestly didn't really want fries. I just wanted the burger. Yeah, I didn't get anything. Apparently he already ate. And then Yusuf <laughs> ripping his bag apart. Look at that, look at that plate there. Mm -mm. We were gonna get trays, but uh, we decided to just offer bags. We were about to head out, but we decided we're just gonna eat here. Long story short, let's get into it. Guys, my meal is officially done. Apparently I'm the fastest eater, which is a problem. I gotta work on that. But anyhow, we're about to head back to my place and we're just gonna chill. Um, so yeah, I don't think we have much playing. I wanna play soccer, maybe? Yeah, definitely? Maybe. Yeah, you have the soccer ball? We're chilling. Damn! So clean, finally happy to take it home. It's been a couple days, guys, but uh, let's hit it. Three, two, cheater. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, you feel like oh my god, this thing's fast. This thing's fast. This thing's so fast. <laughs> what the heck? You feel like you just did yeah, it. Like I, I know. A whole other dimension in the spaceship. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Guys, like, I'm not even like, like, I, this is, like, I'm being truthfully honest. This thing is fast. The thing is fast. It's so fast. Like, I, it's the people saying it's slow, it's not slow at all. <laughs> And then obviously when your man's broke his shit, he's completely out of gas, throwing in eco mode, full battery. <laughs> going home, not even using a, a drop of gas. That's what I'm talking about. And now that we're at the end of the video, guys, I just wanna say a huge special shout out to everyone who supported the channel, everyone that's still here after my enormous good break. I am fully back to 100% me, and I'm super happy about that. And I just like to say we have so many plans for the i8, so many in terms of performance, yes, performance, in terms of aesthetic, oh my God, so many things. We're already partnered up with Variant, Valtronic, Keys Motorsports, Burger Tuning, Oz Wheels. We're gonna be doing some insane stuff to this i8 that you guys have never seen on YouTube or even the internet. So this is gonna be super crazy, but a lot of you guys also missed the rebuilds on my channel. I don't wanna deprive you guys from that. So I decided, me and my wife, we've been talking about it and uh, we, set some, we set some subscriber goals. 150K subscribers, guys, and we're gonna be rebuilding another M car. Not an old one, a newer M car. Your guys' pick, 150K subscribers. Smash that like button as soon as we hit it, I think it's like 13,000 subscribers away, not too far. As soon as we hit that, we pick it up another M car to the collection, rebuild it, possibly in this garage a lot. The same location rebuilt the legendary M3 that that video just hit 10 million views. Shout out to you guys for that as well. And then as soon as we hit 200K subscribers, because that's an insane number, we're gonna have to rebuild a supercar. Yes, I mean, the i8's amazing, but we're gonna need a little brother next to it, or maybe a sister, or uh, whatever you call it. So we're gonna need another supercar to the collection as well, so 200K, and if we hit 200K out of nowhere, we're gonna have to get an M car and a supercar, like rip the bank. I don't have that kind of money, but I'll, I'll, I'll just have to make it work. So smash the like button if you guys wanna see that. I always come through with my promises. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Smash the like button if you guys enjoyed. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.